your morning commute, meetings at work, chilling out at night. We're literally living our lives by the clock, right? But here's what's crazy. You probably think time flows at the same speed for everyone, don't you? One second is one second. One hour is one hour. Same everywhere in the universe. Plot twist. Einstein figured out over a century ago that this is completely wrong. Time actually flows at different speeds depending on where you are and how fast you're moving. Today, we're diving into the absolutely insane truth about time dilation, from why your phone's GPS actually works to what happens near a black hole. By the end of this video, your entire understanding of time is going to be flipped upside down. Hold up, what? Time flows at different speeds for different people? Aren't we all living through the same time? Okay, so this is where things get wild. Let's start with something you can actually picture. Imagine you're on this insanely fast spaceship traveling close to the speed of light. Your friend back on Earth experiences 10 whole years passing by. But for you, only one year goes by. What? That's absolutely bonkers. But why does that even happen? It all comes down to Einstein's theory of relativity. Here's the deal. The universe has this absolute rule. The speed of light is the same for everyone. About 186,000 miles per second, roughly 300,000 kilometers per second. No matter how fast you're moving, light speed stays constant. But if light speed is locked in, something else has to adjust. And that something, that's time. Okay, but does this actually matter in real life? We're not exactly zooming around at light speed, right? Actually, this is going to blow your mind. Your GPS, the one you use every single day, it's literally accounting for time dilation. GPS satellites orbit about 12, 500 miles up, flying at roughly 8, 700 miles per hour. That's about 3.9 kilometers per second. If we didn't adjust for time dilation, your navigation would be off by about 7 miles every single day. So basically, every time you're hunting for a Starbucks, Einstein's theory is guiding you to the right spot. No way. I had absolutely no idea. So this is actually proven science? Oh, 100%. Back in 1971, scientists literally put this to the test. They took these super precise atomic clocks, put them on planes, and flew them around the world. When they compared the clocks afterward, the eastbound plane's clock ran slower while the westbound plane's clock ran faster compared to the one on the ground. We're talking just a few nanoseconds, that's billionths of a second, but it matched Einstein's predictions perfectly when you factor in both speed and gravity. This is the famous twin paradox thought experiment playing out in real life. One twin takes off on a high-speed space journey and comes back younger than the twin who stayed on Earth. This isn't science fiction, this is real science. Here's the key. The faster you move, the slower time flows for you. But here's the thing. This effect only gets really noticeable when you're approaching light speed. In everyday life, it's way too small to notice. But for GPS and space travel, it's absolutely critical. All right, so this is where things get completely insane. It's not just speed. Gravity slows down time, too. Welcome to Einstein's general relativity. Wait, what? Gravity affects time? How is that even possible? Picture space-time like a trampoline. Drop a heavy bowling ball on it, and the fabric sinks down. Right? Massive objects like Earth or the Sun do the exact same thing to space-time itself. And when space-time warps, time flows differently. So you're telling me time moves at different speeds depending on where you are? Exactly. Like, if you're living in a high-altitude city, like Denver, Colorado, you're experiencing time slightly faster than someone in New York or LA at sea level. The farther you are from Earth's center, the weaker gravity's pull, so time flows faster, meaning you literally live more time. That's absolutely crazy. But how big is that difference, actually? Super tiny, but totally measurable. At about one mile of elevation, roughly 1.6 kilometers, the time difference is around 5 microseconds per year compared to sea level. 
This is a theoretical calculation that's been confirmed with atomic clocks. Over a lifetime, it's just a fraction of a second, but scientifically, it's proven. And GPS systems account for this effect too. So with stronger gravity, the effects get way more dramatic? Oh, absolutely. It gets completely wild. Near a black hole, time dilation becomes extreme. Ever seen the movie Interstellar? Remember that scene where the astronauts spend one hour on a planet near a black hole and seven years pass on Earth? That's actually theoretically possible under specific conditions. Excuse me? That was real science? I thought that was just movie magic. The movie's science advisor was Kip Thorne, a Nobel Prize winning physicist. In the film's setup, this extreme time dilation happens near Gargantua, a supermassive, rapidly spinning black hole under very specific conditions. When a black hole's gravity is strong enough, the closer you get to the event horizon, that point where even light can't escape, the slower time moves. If your friend fell into a black hole and you watched from Earth, they'd appear to move slower and slower as they approach the event horizon. Eventually, they'd look almost frozen in time. But from their perspective, time flows totally normally. This is the power of gravity on time. All right, so here's where this gets really practical. Time dilation impacts your everyday life way more than you think. Okay, I get the GPS thing. But what other real-world applications are there? Let me break this down for you. GPS satellites orbit about 12, 500 miles up, roughly 20, 200 kilometers, moving at about 8, 700 miles per hour, or 3.9 kilometers per second. Two effects are happening simultaneously here. First, the satellites are moving fast, so special relativity makes time run slower for them, about 7 microseconds per day. Second, they're at a higher altitude, so general relativity makes time run faster, about 45 microseconds per day. So they cancel each other out? Not quite. When you do the math, the satellite clocks run about 38 microseconds faster per day than clocks on the ground. That might sound tiny, but GPS signals travel at light speed. 38 microseconds of error translates to about 7 miles, roughly 11 kilometers of position error. Without this correction, your navigation would be completely useless. Whoa! So is there any cooler use for time dilation? Like, what about time travel? Actually, time travel to the future is totally possible. If you move fast enough, you can literally travel into the future. For example, if you traveled at 99.5% of light speed for five years and returned to Earth, about 50 years would have passed here. This is an ideal calculation. Real travel would need to factor in acceleration and deceleration, but the principle absolutely works. You'd only age five years while the world jumped 50 years into the future. That's absolutely incredible. But we can't go back to the past, right? Right. Based on our current understanding, a one-way ticket to the future is possible, but going back in time is extremely problematic. This protects causality, the cause and effect chain. If you could go back, you'd create paradoxes, like meeting your grandparents before you were born. That said, general relativity does discuss theoretical possibilities called closed time-like curves, but whether that's actually achievable is still an open question. I see. So what if I became an astronaut and went to the International Space Station? Great question. The ISS orbits about 250 miles up, roughly 400 kilometers, traveling at about 17, 500 miles per hour, or 7.7 .7 kilometers per second. Spend six months there, and time runs about 0.005 seconds slower for you compared to people on the ground. That's because the time dilation from speed outweighs the speed up from altitude. So astronauts actually return to Earth slightly younger than the people who stayed behind. In the future, when humanity goes on long missions to Mars or beyond, time dilation will become way more significant. Especially if future technology lets us travel close to light speed, astronauts would literally become time travelers. Alright, so today we've explored this absolutely fascinating topic of time dilation. 
We've seen how speed and gravity affect time and how this shows up in our everyday lives. This isn't just random trivia. This is the science behind why your smartphone actually works. Let me hit you with the three key takeaways. First, the faster you move, the slower time flows for you. That's special relativity. Second, near strong gravity, time slows down. That's general relativity. Third, GPS corrects for both of these effects every single day to guide you to the right location. Next time you use your phone's navigation, thank Einstein. This video absolutely blew my mind. Time is way more complex and fascinating than I ever imagined. Every time I use GPS now, I'm going to think about what we learned today. And that stuff about time travel near black holes? Completely incredible. Right? We tend to think time is universal and absolute, but it's actually flexible and relative. So here's my question for you all. What's something about time that's always fascinated you? If you could travel at GPS satellite speeds, where would you go? Drop your thoughts in the comments. Thanks so much for watching all the way to the end. On this channel, we break down science, technology, and health in ways you can actually use in your daily life. Hit that subscribe button so you never miss our latest discoveries. Your subscription is what keeps this channel going. Alright, catch you in the next one.